Good evening once again. The family of a young boy murdered over the weekend is taking steps to make sure he is never forgotten. 12-year-old Badraldeen El Wasim was killed by a stray bullet on Saturday. Police are now making it a top priority to find his killer. Authorities are looking through hours of surveillance video taken from multiple cameras near the scene on William Street. They're also testing the bullet shells and the casings found nearby, hoping to uncover some new information. Meantime, the boy's family is opening up now about this tragedy. They spoke with 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley today about what's being done now to remember this young life that's been lost. I woke up this morning, wanted to go wake up my brother just to realize he's not here with <laughs> me. Community support is pouring in for the family of Beldradine El Wasim, also known as Banner. The 12-year-old was killed by a stray bullet Saturday night. Hundreds attended his funeral, and Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, police, and community anti-violence groups went door-to-door -door distributing these flyers. I don't want no family or mother or father to have to go through this situation again. Now there's an effort to build something special that will remember the young life lost while benefiting the community. And this would be a way that they can realize who he was to us, who he was to the community, who he was truly to his family. Better had previously attended the Universal Islamic School on Genesee Street and was going to return next school year. And the sixth grade student was an active member of a Muslim youth group called the Buffalo Nomads. He came here, he met more friends and you know, this was his place. He always wanted to come here. Mohammed McMillan was one of Better's mentors. If anyone was sad, he was always the first one to want to know why I wanted to cheer him up. And you couldn't see his face and, be, and still be sad. The Nomads and Better's family are now trying to raise money to build a community pavilion to be placed behind the Universal School for all to use. We just ask for the support of the community to make this possible. Muslims believe doing good deeds in the name of someone who died will bring special spiritual benefits to the deceased. Every time someone goes in there better would benefit you know from him it's, it's like they that's his legacy the family is still encouraging the public to help police find the killer i won't sleep eat rest or anything till i get justice for my brother but they are channeling their sadness into action to help others and remember a boy they were very proud of the family tells me that the pavilion project is just the first of many ideas they are looking at as a way to remember the young man and also help the community. In Buffalo, Ed Riley 7, Eyewitness News.